welcome to the project demonstration of IoT eSpider robot with automatic mode and manual controlling using ESP32 cam and as well as ESP32 so here the main features of this spider robot is we can control this uh, spider robot motion forward backward left right stop and also night vision camera with light on light off along with auto mode so when we keep this in auto mode uh, the spider robot keep on moving forward direction if any obstacle is there in front of this with help of this ultrasonic sensor it will identify the obstacle and if the obstacle distance is less than one feet then it will automatically take a left direction and again it will check with the obstacle presence if the obstacle presence was not there then it will keep on moving forward direction so this is in the automatic mode so when you want to switching from automatic mode to manual mode then you need to just press the stop button then it will enter into the manual mode from there we can control this robot movement this is a spider robot movement so here uh, coming to the interfacing connections totally we are using 12 servo motors which are interfaced to this ESP32 and uh, in between microcontroller we are using is a driver board and the next ultrasonic sensor and ESP32 camera are getting input to this microcontroller from there the data will be given as input to this ESP32 camera sorry uh, ESP32 module so ESP32 camera this is the module uh, which will get the visual feedings and uh, at the same time can control the data uh, input buttons to the microcontroller and ultrasonic sensor also use it to detect the obstacle presence and the whole system getting power supply from this lithium ion battery pack uh, just they are uh, removable we can charge these batteries and keep them in this one right okay and while placing the batteries we should take care of the polarities so the spring side is a negative and other side is the positive of the battery pack okay and uh, we have interfaced these sensors uh, sensor to detect the obstacle as well as yeah here see there is a main on off switch okay and uh, this is the battery pack we are two batteries we are in, uh, using them in series so total we, will get, we are going to get 7.4 volts but the operating voltage of our microcontroller components ESP32 and all 5 volt so and servo motors also can work for 5 and 6 volts so we are going to uh, use uh, LM2596 voltage regulator which will taking care of converter means regulate the 12 volts uh, sorry 7.4 volts DC to 5 volts of DC so that is the main uh, like features and the component description so before demonstration first of all uh, we need to do some initial steps in our mobile phone and uh, for that go to hotspot settings of your phone and configure the hotspot name to project 7262 without any space without any capital letter password should be 12345678 ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz after enabling the hotspots now we need to install the network analyzer application so this is the application available in the play store directly so install this application from this application only we are going to get the ip address of our camera to control that right all these settings successfully done check that properly and now just on this power supply okay so all will be initialized legs and then after we can see one device connected in your mobile phone now after you have seen the one device connected go to options land scan and in that scan operation the two ip addresses one is your mobile phone and there is the ip address of our esp32 camera just click on that and open this we are going to get the video streaming directly okay and light on light off and just when we press and hold the forward button when you press and hold then just keep on moving forward when you release the button it stop moment see now okay so I'm pressing and hold the button so keep on moving so just release that it stops automatically and again same for the backward also okay and the left and right so let me show you demonstration on the directly working model just I am showing the execution here right and when we place in auto mode just touch it so now just keep on moving see so if any obstacle is in front of that so it took the left direction and after that it will check with that if no obstacles keep on moving 
So when I just press stop button, it's in normal mode. Now let us check the demonstration on the floor. Now let us check this. Yeah, right. So if it's this screen now, so just press and hold the forward button. Stops over there, and the next take left. stops and next take right backward so come to the auto mode so let's place this for long distance Right, so now I place when I place in order mode, so let's keep on moving. So if an obstacle is there, then it took the diversion. Right. So as the obstacle forms, automatically let's keep on take the diversions. Right. When I press the stop, it stops automatically. So again, right. Thank you.